Now it's a little late for a year-end view, but 2019 is gone. It's January 11th now. Thought I'd put out a little year-end review as far as what we got done here on our property, homestead, however you want to call it. I think the first thing we did last spring was that greenhouse over there. We got that thing going. I think before the snow melted, I was over there digging holes for the little pole barn construction I had going over there for that 13 or 32 by 16 greenhouse. Had plans to get a bunch of grow beds in it and everything, but it took a little bit longer to build than I thought. And by the time it was done, time to get working on this house. So second thing on the list for 2019 was this house. Got the slab poured, the walls tilted up, rafters on, and it all closed in. I think before January 1st, we had windows and doors in, and probably insulation. I think the insulation was done too. If not, right around January 1st, January 2nd, the insulation was done. Plumbing, electrical, that's all done too. So we're pretty far on the house. With the help of a neighbor, got our septic system put in, only took a couple days with his excavator. He had a mini excavator that has all kinds of attachments on it. It's pretty nutty. Made short work of that septic system. Probably would have taken me a few more days to dig with my backhoe than it did to take, for him to take, what, six hours to dig the whole thing out. We've got a wood shed built. Keep our wood nice and dry. As for now, it's just covered in a six mil plastic, but it has a nice roof over it. So it's gonna keep our wood a lot drier this winter than what we had last winter. Last winter all we had was I think six pallets on the ground, two pallets on each end, and a tarp to go over it. And that tarp would blow off almost every night and the snow would come. S didn't do anything for the wood. It was kind of hard to start a fire last year. This year it's really easy thanks to that wood shed. We've got a couple small things done around here. I had planned out a circle driveway Took my trailer around it a couple times as I was getting supplies for the house. And I realized that the circle was a little bit small. Kind of hard and I had to watch where the trailer was, make sure I wasn't running into a tree or anything like that. So we made a new design circle driveway, made it a little bit bigger, bigger circle. Easier to maneuver with the trailer. Got T-posts put up around the house, where the garage is gonna be, the greenhouse. Three and a half acre plot. We're gonna have a five foot tall, no climb fence a bigger area for the dogs to run around in. All we got done last year was a T-post. We didn't have a chance to actually put the fence up and a couple gates, but we'll get to that this year. When it was kind of slow around here, we're waiting for some inspections. We got a lot of these burn piles burnt down. What's to come for 2020? Well, we're gonna finish this house. We're gonna get moved in here. It's not gonna get finished finished. As you notice, we're putting OSB up around the walls because we have a lot of beetle kill pine out in our property and we like the look of that blue pine. So we're gonna mill some of that out this year, get it drying, get it stacked up so it dries out real good. Probably in about two years, we're gonna cover this OSB with beetle kill pine, a nice blue pine look. After the house, we gotta get that garage built. I've gotta have a place to work, a place to build cabinets and some of the other stuff that we need around the house. Need a bigger place to work. Once we get moved in here, we're not going to have a lot of place to work and I'm not going to want to be making this big sawdust mess. So I got to get that garage built. Along with milling out all the blue pine for the house, I want to mill out a lot of wood for grow beds. I've got a bunch of room in that greenhouse for grow beds that I've got to fill up. I'd like to get a nice big garden started this year, not only in the greenhouse, but outside the greenhouse. So that's a big plan that we have for this next year is to grow a lot of our own food. I've also got to finish putting this fence up around the house. When we move into this house, where the dogs are, where they're fenced in right now, it's not attached to the house at all. It's attached to the place we're living right now. So I'd like to have that fence up and a couple gates where I need them about the same time that we're moving into the house so the dogs aren't sitting way over there when we're over here. And like an ongoing project, Next year is going to be even more cleaning the property up. You want to hang out, watch our journey, watch this property grow? Hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications. Until next time, guys, go make something.